Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to explore the inspiring story of success in the career of a talented and versatile woman, Angelina. With a series of outstanding performances on the silver screen, Angelina has captured not only the hearts of the audience but also the entire film industry. From humble beginnings to the present day, she has overcome challenges and limitations to become an icon with global influence. But Angelina's success is not limited to the acting field, she is known as a passionate humanitarian, an exceptional actress, a talented film producer, and a loving mother. This demonstrates that Angelina has not only achieved remarkable success in her career but is also a woman of strength and compassion. In this video, we will together explore the important factors that have contributed to Angelina's success. We will delve into the values, qualities, and determination she has brought into her life and work. If you are seeking inspiration and motivation to pursue your dreams and achieve success in your career, keep watching this video. Let's learn and draw inspiration from the admirable story of Angelina. So, without further ado, let's embark on the journey of discovering the success in Angelina's career together. Thank you for joining me, and let's start the video right away. Jolie began her acting career at the age of 16, although later faced difficulties in auditions, often being called her demeanor too gloomy. She appeared in five graduation films made by her brother, while attending the USC School of Cinema Television, along with several music videos such as, Stand By My Woman, by Lenny Kravitz, 1991, Alta Marea, by Antonello Venditti, 1991, It's About Time, of The Lemonheads, 1993, and Meat Loaf's Rock and Roll Dreams Come Through, 1993. She began to learn from her father, as she noticed that her father also learned by observing others and following suit. Their relationship was not very tense at the moment, Jolie realized that they were both big talkers. Although Jolie appeared in five of the school films made by her brother while he was at the USC School of Motion Picture Arts, affiliated with the University of Southern California, her professional film career was just beginning. Since 1993, that year, Jolie played the female lead Casella Cash, Reese, in a low-budget fantasy, Cyborg 2. Reese is a humanoid robot designed to break into a competitor's headquarters and then self-destruct. Jolie was so disappointed in the film that she did not participate in the rehearsal for a whole year. After a supporting role in Without Evidence, Jolie starred in her first Hollywood film, as Kate Acidburn, Libby in Hackers, 1995. The New York Times wrote, Kate, Angelina Jolie, stands out above all. Her angry scowl is more bitter than co-star, and it's rare for a female hacker to sit and stare keyboard in such a tight shirt. The film failed to establish the box office, but received great love from the public after the video release. She starred as Gina Malachichi in the comedy Love Is All There Is, 1996, a modern adaptation of Romeo and Juliet set in two competing Italian family restaurateurs in the Bronx, New York. Jolie then went on to star in Mojave Moon, 1996, as a young woman, Eleanor Rigby, who falls in love with a middle-aged character, played by Danny Aiello, while he falls in love with her mother. Played by Ann Archer, in 1996, Jolie starred in Foxfire as Margaret Legs Sadovsky, one of five teenage girls who got into an unlikely relationship after they beat back a teacher who sexually harassed them. Dot. The Los Angeles Times wrote of her performance, although the story is narrated by Maddie, Legs is the object and catalyst of the film. In 1997, Jolie co-starred with David Duchovny in the detective story playing God, set in the underworld of Los Angeles. Critics have not been very positive. Roger Ebert said that, Angelina Jolie finds comfort in a tough and aggressive role. She seems too good to be a criminal's girlfriend, and she probably is. Jolie then appeared in the television series True Women, a historical romantic drama set in the American West, based on the novel of the same name by Janice Woods Windle. That same year, she again appeared in the music video, Anybody Seen My Baby? of the Rolling Stones. Jolie's career prospects began to improve after she received a Golden Globe Award for her performance in the TNT television series, George Wallace, 1997. She plays Cornelia Wallace, the second wife of Alabama Governor George Wallace, played by Gary Sinise. The film was very well received and won the Golden Globe Award for Best Miniseries or Television Series, among other awards. Jolie also received an Emmy Award nomination for her role. In 1998, Jolie appeared in HBO's Gia, playing supermodel Gia Karanji. The film follows the breakdown of Karanji's life and career, due to her addiction to heroin, her decline and death from AIDS in the mid-1980s. During this period, she received a nomination, Emmy Award in 1998 and two Golden Globe Awards in 1999 and 2000. 
1999 was also the first year she received the Motion Picture Actors Guild Award. True to Lee Strasberg's method of acting, Jolie still plays the character during breaks in her first films, so she rarely communicates during filming. While filming Gia, she shared that she might not call her husband then Johnny Lee Miller. I would tell him, I'm lonely, I'm dying, I'm gay, I'm not going to meet me for a few weeks. When Gia closed filming, Jolie announced that she would give up her acting career because she felt that she had nothing left to give. After her divorce from Miller and she moved to New York, Jolie took classes in filmmaking and night writing at New York University. Emboldened when George Wallace won the Golden Globe, she returned to acting. Jolie continued her career as Gloria McNeary in the 1998 gangster film, Hell's Kitchen. That same year, she reappeared in Playing by Heart and was one of its impressive cast, alongside Sean Connery, Gillian Anderson, Ryan Phillippe and Jon Stewart. The film was well received, and Jolie also received critical acclaim along with the National Committee for Motion Picture Critics Breakthrough Performance Award. In 1999, Jolie starred in the comedy drama Pushing Tin, directed by Mike Newell, alongside John Cusick, Billy Bob Thornton and Kate Blanchett. The film received mixed reviews from critics, and Jolie's character, the charming wife of Thornton, was harshly criticized. The Washington Post described her as, the product of a ludicrous writer who wrote about a liberal woman who weeps as her hibiscus dies, carries dozens of turquoise rings and feels infinitely alone. When Russell was away from home for many nights, Jolie then starred in The Bone Collector, 1999, the film adaptation of Jeffrey Deaver's crime novel, with co-star Denzel Washington. Jolie plays Amelia Donaghy, a police officer haunted by the suicide of her father, who is also a cop and who reluctantly helps Washington track down the serial killer. The film grossed $151 million worldwide, but was still a critical flop. The Detroit Free Press concluded, although Jolie has always been charming, this time, she simply took on an inappropriate role. Jolie had a supporting role, an antisocial personality disorder patient named Lisa Rowe, in Girl, Interrupted, 1999. The film retells the story of mental patient Susanna Kaysen, adapted from Kaysen's memoir of the same name. She received her third Golden Globe Award, second Screen Actors Guild Award, and the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Variety magazine wrote, Jolie is ecstatic as a careless and irresponsible girl who becomes a more magical remedy than any rehabilitation Susanna's doctors have made. In 2000, Jolie made her debut in a summer blockbuster, Gone in 60 Seconds, which was the highest-grossing film Jolie had ever acted in to that point, with $237 million in gross. About worldwide, she plays Sarah Sway Wayland, the ex-girlfriend of the car thief shown by Nicolas Cage. The Washington Post commented that, all she does in this movie is stand there, calmly, shaping those muscles, expanding and contracting the muscular tubes provocatively hiding around her teeth. That, 